Hey, what's up guys? It's Kevin here with Fandroid.com and today we're taking a look at the Motorola Photon Q 4G LTE. While it looks probably at home on Verizon as one of the Motorola Droid devices, this is actually for Sprint. It's one of their latest 4G LTE devices and the first to support a full QWERTY keyboard. And it's a very nice keyboard. We'll get into that a bit more later. But for now, let's take a look at some of the other hardware elements of the Photon Q. Um, starting with its 4.3 inch display. It's a QHD display, it's also splash proof, so uh, like a lot of the recent Motorola devices, getting a little bit of water on the screen, no problem. Not water resistant, can't be dunked in water, but uh, it definitely carries some resistance to wetness. Looking around on the right side, we see ports for uh, the micro HDMI and also for uh, USB there for charging. On the left side of the phone, there's a dedicated volume rocker, as well as a dedicated camera button. Things get a little bit confusing because around the top of the device there's a power on off standby button that uh, I thought didn't exist and I was pressing the camera button so I couldn't get the phone to turn on at first but once you realize it's there and sort out the two, uh, not that big of a deal. There's also a 3.5mm headset jack. At the top of the front of the phone is a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. Around the rear is an 8 megapixel HD 1080p uh, camera with a flash and autofocus. Down at the bottom of the phone you'll see the uh, speaker. The back battery cover of the Photon Q um, is actually non-removable and the battery itself isn't super large. I think it's a 1750 milliamp hour so it's nothing like a razor. Um, considering that the device is about 0.5 inches thick you would think they would squeeze an extra battery size in there but uh, that's really just to accommodate for the QWERTY keyboard. Taking a look at the QWERTY keyboard you'll see that it's actually a lot like a uh, the recent Droid uh, series keyboards, raised buttons, very good tactile feel to them, um, nice and separate, very well spaced, and you get the full five row experience. You have a number row up top, um, and then your full regular layout, plus the ability to shift and get additional characters, uh, as well as a directional pad down here. So very good if you're a big texter, um, very easy to text with, really good keyboard. Again, um, a lot like the, uh, the newer Droid series, so it continues to be... Uh, one of the better QWERTY keyboards on the market. In terms of software, the Photon Q is running Android 4.0.4 uh, Ice Cream Sandwich, so you can see it's got Motorola's custom interface on top, uh, which doesn't vary that much from uh, the way Ice Cream Sandwich works, um, other than just some of the general appearance things. The icons look a little bit different, but they've added some cool features, such as the ability to just swipe all the way over to add a new home screen and go blank page. They also have some templates. Long pressing the home button allows you to quickly edit uh, and, and jump between home screens. As with other ice cream sandwich devices, you can quickly edit and switch out items in your uh, launcher just by dragging and dropping. And of course you get ice cream sandwiches improved multitasking, the ability to uh, swipe and uh, pop open tiles on the fly. Sprint hasn't included a lot of extra apps and stuff out of the box. Um, you get a few like their Sprint Zone app and it also comes with the Google Suite things like quick office um, but in general you're not getting a lot of extra software and for some people that'll be uh, maybe a detractor but uh, for most who don't want to get the, a device that's bloated down with software right out of the beginning um, out of the box uh, that's pretty good people will appreciate a nice lightweight operating system experience overall it feels very fast very quick and um, has worked out very well with the, uh, the dual core processor inside at 1.5 gigahertz so that's a look at the Motorola Photon Q 4G LTE for Sprint. It's available now, so if you're looking for an LTE device that's powerful and has a, a QWERTY keyboard, and it's hard to find a lot of those, uh, it's a kind of a niche market, but um, this one is a great device to consider, especially for uh, the frequent texter. So uh, that's the Photon Q 4G LTE. I'm Kevin with Fandroid.com. Thanks for watching.